Hi and welcome to video number eight. In the last video we had our character um, home in on us and when when the Y positions and the X positions were equal to the good guy's position, the enemy stopped on the same spot as us. So what we want to do now is every time the enemy makes contact with us, he will decrease us with a life. We've already done this a number of times. It's exactly the same as the coin collection or the um, collision with the, with the barrier we did in very early lessons. So we would have if get spied collision good guy with the enemy equals one enemy X position and enemy Y position would be randomized. Then we would have set the spike position of enemy, enemy X and enemy Y pause, basically put him back on the screen. And then lives equals lives minus one. If the lives equals zero, end the game. That's what we basically need to do. So we'll start that now. Lives equals three. So we'll start the lives at three. And we've already got the enemy positioned on the screen. I've already put in the print, so print lives, string with lives. And what I did, we originally had this at 25. I've changed it, uh, we originally did 50, sorry. I've changed it to 25 so that the text wasn't so large. Um, then we're going to need to put in a go sub. And we'll call it death, go sub death. And then right at the bottom, I just need to put in that subroutine, which I've already copied. So I've just pasted that in. I will just need to, to change, because I, I copied the exact same sprite collision as the coin. So, so I need to put the enemy back on the screen. So as I read out earlier, good guy and enemy, randomize them, lives equals lives minus one. So, end the game. So let's let's compile that and run it. And you see the enemy's moving on, in on me at quite a pace. I could slow him down. Um, I collect the coin. When he catches me, you'll see that my lives will go down. And the last one, and, I sh and I'll be dead. There you are. And that's our game becoming a lot more complex. So. We could add a barrier into the game, so these these barriers would be obstacles that would slow us down. We could have more enemies on the screen and more coins, so we could basically say that when you get when you've collected ten coins, add another enemy, and when you when you've add thirty coins, add add the third enemy, forty coins, fourth enemy. So the more coins you collect, the more enemies appear, the harder it becomes. You could just you could equally, as the game, you score more points, you could add more barriers and more obstacles. Um, the enemy can pass through the obstacles, you can't. All, all these things add to game complexity, and all these things build up ideas. So I hope that sort of gives you food for thought on how to progress with your own game. Um, in the next lesson, we'll start to perhaps put a menu screen in and an end screen. We'll do those two next, so that so that we add and we'll add a background in. So we'll we'll start to put some graphics into the game to, to perhaps make it look a little bit more lively and a bit more entertaining. Thank you very much.